Well, good morning again, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. It's November 26th. Thought I'd get out for a little morning hunt since we're not traveling anyways. And uh, so I just came in all along the county road, getting into the ranch, and um, haven't seen an elk yet. So I'm going down to get my side-by-side -side so we can cruise around and try and look for something and maybe we can get something down in the next few hours before we, you know, I'd like to head back and spend some time with my boys and the wife or probably starting some cooking and watch some football if we can. Uh, so that's the plan. Not going to be out here long today, but I will be back out here on Saturday and Sunday. So hopefully we get some good footage for you, get some good action. I've seen four moose farther down the draw that way in the willows. A few deer already. No big bucks this time yet. So, um, yep, gonna go get the side by side warmed up. Sort of funny, but not funny. I came over too far. When I marked on the map, you know, I didn't have the contours on, and I didn't mark in the right spot. Look behind me here. That, like, precipice right there, they were just to the left of that. I can't see tracked, but they went over that. I'm positive on it now, looking at it. The thing is, I drove up the road on the other side of that, and I did cross a few trails, um, but I didn't see him, which means he might have gone even farther, and I'm not sure if I'm really interested in chasing him over there now. Now I got 0.8 miles of snowshoe back, so, ha, ah, dang it. But I didn't see him over there either, which means they went to a whole other ravine, over and kept going, and don't know, don't know, I think that, uh, this might be done. <laughs> this this hunt. Oh, boy, it's cold wind. There's up quite a bit on the other side of that knob right there. Just that side. So I did cross the tracks back here because I drove to here and they weren't in here. So I just went over there thinking that it was over there and I just didn't have it right. That's a bummer. Could have still found other elk, but nothing else. A few deer and a few moose. I'm going to go back down the road, catch the trail, see if I can glass and see where they went. But other than that, it's 11 o'clock on Thanksgiving. I might be heading for home. Now I'm tired. I just went two miles snowshoeing for nothing. <laughs> All right, so I saw this earlier. And I just want to point it out. This track's right here. That hill. Across the road. Right here. Right out there through the snow. And then I've tracked them. And they go through the trees there. And over that ridge. 
And that was the elk I was looking for. They went over that ridge. And I'm too darn tired to snowshoe that far now. Hell, they could be miles away. So, going down to the ridge, might be done today. Good morning, 7.37, Saturday morning. It must be the 29th, I think, two days after Thanksgiving. And uh, getting back out here to do a little bit more hunting. What's our temperature this morning? We got it at minus six. <laughs> minus six. Um, it was like 12 when I left the house. So coming in, I didn't see nothing except up on the west end of the ranch there is some elk I can't tell I mean I would have said there's only six or seven um, right in the middle of like the widest part of the ranch which makes it difficult to get to um, I don't know yet got the general warming up over here and so uh, once it's ready I'm gonna cruise over here glass the other side of this ridge go out to the main road, go up a little ways, see if I can't see them, get a kind of a location of where they're at, have an idea, but I just don't know what I'm going to do to try and go in there after them. Don't want a snowmobile in there because I'll probably just end up pushing them, be right on top of them or something. So I'm just going to get around and try and see, and I might have to just take a little snowshoeing trip out there, be sneaky. So here we go. We only got today, tomorrow, and then I'm done with this hunt. These these elk tags, I'm pretty much done here. I have another weekend up on the elk refuge. That's coming up on December 11th to the 13th. Stay tuned. There's more coming. So here we go. I'm gonna go look for some more elk. All right. So the elk I'm after are right there in that draw. Kind of hard to see here. You might see some little specks. Looks like sagebrush about 10 elk right there what I got to do is come in by this point up here I got a snowshoe around the backside and then come up and over the top of that and I should end up right on them I love seeing moose there's a mama and her calf never gets old love it so there they are right now heading there you can see a couple little dots coming out right there where the shadows coming off that ridge that tall point over a mile from us just in case let's see come on where's my finger right there right there fingers too close to the camera right there and they're walking what is for me going west going that way um, and I could get up right over this two track you see there, it's covered in snow, into that valley over there. And uh, I don't know, but I'll get to there, to this point right here. And I'll be able to look back across and watch them, see what they do. There goes three nice bulls running out of there. I have a feeling they were over there and these other elk bumped them. That bull in the back is a nice one. Where are you guys going? Oh, there's the elk over there at the timber line. Right there. There's the ones I'm after right there. Okay, so I had to stop and get my coat off. I told you it was going to be hot. It's maybe 10 degrees now, but there's no wind. It's perfect. This is great snowshoeing weather. So the elk are in this aspen behind me, but they may have come up and I don't know it yet. So we're going around right up here and hopefully going to circle in there. I need to spot them first though, because my, my gun's on my back. 
So I hope that's uh, what happens. Whew, even took my face mask off. It's hot. Door, I see it right there moving. Just a doe and deer. So those elk are right below where she's at in the timber there. So I'm gonna sneak over there, get my snowshoes off, get my gun out, and check over the sides. Got her, she's down. <laughs> Woo. Yes. All right, so she's down. I wonder what happened on that first shot. She got up, just did a little circle to the left, came back over and laid back down. So I must have hit something that didn't feel good. Never did see the other elk run out of here. So then I really debated though, should I take the shot? But I was pretty positive that's the elk I shot at first. And she laid back down again. Barely in the line of sight. So many aspens that I was shooting through. And that first shot, I'm thinking it was about 120 yards. Um, kind of got a pretty good angle I'm going at here. So uh, I think I, I probably went a little high. So this next shot, I made sure to go a little bit lower. And um, she's there. She's done. So I'm going to get my snowshoes, which I left way back over there. John's going to go get the uh, snowmobile to bring in here. <laughs> it would be a long pack out not that i'm not up for it but it would be a long pack but that should be pretty cool getting the snowmobile in here oh there's the other elk right there i'll turn this around and show you there they go well i realized after that second shot and i was uh Jack and it's gonna jack in the third shell just as you know practice normal. <laughs> you have a third shell. I had two shells in my rifle. Jeez. I didn't even know that. Been out here for three months hunting. Just forgot. So we get down in there and take care of things. But glad I didn't have to fire off more shots. Ooh, I gotta get off this cornice. Good okay, I gotta put this away. Here we go, got my cow. You could look behind me through these trees. See up there? That's what I was trying to shoot from. And it appears 
she was laying right there and she walked right back over to here and there's no blood trail. I may have just whiffed and missed. And then she just walked over here and I and laid back down. I guess, you know, the echo from the shot could have sounded pretty weird because they didn't bust out of here. The other ones didn't bust out. They weren't sure what happened. Um, her unlucky day for laying back down like that because they could have busted out and they were gone. The other ones are gone, um, but they didn't. So I'm thankful. It's awesome. I'm going to get her um, gutted out here. Um, been a long time since I've actually gutted an animal. I've usually just been quartering them out. And um, so I'm going to get that done because once we want to drag her out with the snowmobile, we don't want that uh, extra weight. So I'm going to get started. <laughs> awesome. Pretty stoked. Pretty stoked. All right, the dirty part here is done. And I'm just waiting for John. I might have to get out to the edge of the timber here in case he comes in. He's looking for me. You know, I'm thankful that I got this down, but I'm also always thinking, you know, what a tough animal and how grateful I am for them. And I feel sad too. You know, this this animal survived three months this year of hunting. Hunting pressure, September, October, November. And, you know, last year, I don't know how old she is. Maybe she's a two-year-old, three-year-old. She's a big cow. She's a full-size cow. So I'm going to say she's probably like three. So that's like three seasons of hunting nine months to 12 months of hunting seasons it's just amazing i'm glad that as americans we have this opportunity i hear a snowmobile Woohoo! <laughs> perfect timing just got her done and here we go awesome Let's see if i can't find john a trail in here i would say there's an open spot right here Oh, here's a few more of the elk beds over here. One here. Let's see. Holy cow. I don't know how he can get in here. Oops. Here's what it looks like. He has to get through. Just a little stretch of timber there. But a lot of logs down in it. John to the rescue. Hear him up there. You up there, John? Don't know if you can see me I'm trying to wave my horned hat at him. We're almost out. So it got home, there's my elk, I'm going to get out of here, get her skinned up, get it hung up, and so uh, that's where I'm at, tired, exhausted, um, but it's, what a good day. So uh, get this taken care of, and uh, on to the next thing, going to be no hunting next weekend, the first weekend probably of no hunting since September 1st, no, since August 15th when we were hunting for antelope somewhere in there um and then in a couple weekends we do have one of those uh, elk permits up on the refuge so we'll see what happens try and get my son up there and on a good day on a nice day with no wind it could be a fun hunt so i'm gonna get her out of here get her skinned up get it cleaned up get the pieces hung up and uh, there we go thank you for watching i appreciate it the season is coming together good luck has turned my way here a few times now 
And uh, just thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.